Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Ops Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 152, Code Components in Portals. First introduced as a preview feature in April 2021, support for Code Components, also known as PCF controls, is now available with Power Ops Portals. There are two ways that you can use Code Components on your portal. First, you can use a code component to replace the out-of-the-box control for a field on a basic or advanced form. So, for example, if instead of a regular number field, you want a slider control, you can use a code component. The second way is to include a code component using the code component liquid tag. Simply pass the name of the code component, plus any additional parameters your component might be expecting. For example, if you build the sample portals code component published by Microsoft, and you use nh as your publisher prefix, the name will be nh underscore sample namespace dot portal web API control. When building code components for portals, you can use the web API, including read, create, update, and delete operations. Be sure to enable the appropriate site settings needed to use the portals web API as well as any necessary table permissions. A couple things to note. While in preview, portal users needed table permissions for the web resource table, this is no longer the case. Also, dataset components, which are those usually used to replace views in a model-driven app, are not supported in portals. If you want to replace list functionality, simply use the liquid tag to place your component on the page. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 152 on code components in portals useful.